Today we're going to be taking a look at the Pacer Motor from T-Motor. Now this is a 2207.5 and it comes in three different flavors and it is a pretty interesting product due to a couple reasons which we'll cover in a bit here. Now again this thing comes in three different flavors. We have the 1750 KV, 1950 KV and also the 2550 KV. Now the two flavors of the lower KV which is the 1750 and the 1950 both run 4 to 6S voltage. However the 2550 obviously will run 4S probably more but you have a high probability of actually burning it because it'll just run really hot like any other high KV motor. Now what I have tested today is a 1950 KV. I really wanted to see how this stacks up and what kind of efficiency we can get out of it however what i come to find out is that it was pulling roughly a thousand watts of power which is insane and not only that t-motor tells me that it's capable of handling that much wattage for 60 seconds and what that means is they're using a new coating on the copper windings so with that being said let's grab a look at the testing results so these are the testing results here the top three are on 5s and on the bottom it's the 6s which we got the two in black and red are the 6s voltage now for 5s it looks really great so you'll be able to use this both on 5 and 6s and still have a proper proper flying machine. I mean, we were getting the maximum thrust at a 5047 tri-blades on a 5S, 1.6 kilograms of thrust. That's just out of this world. However, as you can tell, the amp draw is pretty high also, around 40. However, unless you're racing, you're never really at full throttle all the time. Now, in my opinion, the sweet spot for me would be the 6S 5043 tri-blades from Dowprop. Those look just really great. It looks like they're going to be really, really efficient at the low end. However, when you do give it that punch out, you're going to be pulling 50 amps and that is pulling over a thousand watts of power which is just crazy here so this thing is capable of a lot and i can't wait to actually set this up in real life and the whole idea here is to see if i can get five to seven minutes of flight time i think i'll be able to get five minutes of flight time like really good flight time not taking it super conservative but still being somewhat conservative in the cinematic aspect if you might say that whole trend so this is going to be a pretty interesting setup i do have the quad for it which i'll be replacing the motors and we'll be taking a look at these motors out in the field in the upcoming days once the weather clears up and you could use this data to however you want let me know what you think down in the comment section and i'll have everything linked down below and come join my patreon you have a ton of giveaways there and come join my instagram i'll be hosting giveaway very soon there and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out guys